Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we head to Cookfield CC, the current league leaders who are enjoying a successful season so far back in the Prem. We're still sitting mid-table and while the league title's probably not coming to the bridges this season, we're still after a strong second half finish and eyeing up those top four places. The hosts won the toss today and opted to bowl and it's James Russell and Rahul Tangerala opening up for us. We've also got a shiny new bit of kit, a new camera that will give you a lot of second angle and hopefully further improves the content. Stay tuned for more of that later. First wicket of the day and Rahul snicks off to second slip without troubling the scorers. He goes to the ninth ball of the innings and we're yet to get a run on the board. Unsure where that first chance carried, but that one definitely did. Not our finest start, and it's now one run for two wickets. Hopefully this new angle won't be limited to just our dismissals. Thorne joins Connor and things go from bad to worse. The Kiwi has dismissed second ball and Galbraith Gibbons has his third wicket from just 10 deliveries. The sun comes out and things are looking a little easier. Skipper Walker joins Connor at the crease and adds some stability after those three quick wickets. With some understandably aggressive fields, he and Con find the boundaries to move us up to 35 for three from nine. Joe goes back and cuts that just past the tree, which is well inside the fence. Local rule gives you four runs if you manage to make contact with it. 
even if it's clearly sailing over the fence. And it wasn't long before we got to see a golding lofted drive from that new camera. The trademark from our number three. Enjoy it in all its glory. Walker dances down and he doesn't get all of that. Mistimed and the offspin of the Cookfield Overseas Marshal sees an end to Joe's innings today. 75 for four in the 19th. Two flicks off his legs for four, but Coops then chips that one to mid off. Only 20 overs bowled and the hosts have their fifth wicket. So much time left to bat, here's hoping new man Aaron Brown can spend some much needed time at the crease with Connor. Con gets to 50, his third in the league this season, and he goes again, this time going aerial and getting six for it. That one flying off the bat. The score now 110 for five from 27. And there's the big wicket Cookfield were after. Con doesn't get hold of that one and it's caught well just in front of the sight screen. He departs for 64 from 83 balls. Replacing him, we've got Bridges and Sussex League legend Dan Alderman making his first appearance on the channel this season. Aaron offered some slight resistance, but he becomes the next man to be caught. A few too many soft ones today if I'm being critical. I can be today when I'm unavailable and not on the team sheet. And with the score at 143 for seven, we're needing the lower order to muster something up and get us up to something defendable. 200 or so, at least.
That one deceives Cavey and sneaks its way through onto the stumps. Josh Hayward's third victim of the day. Next man to the crease, we've got youngster Charlie Mist making his first team league debut. Misty goes for eight, caught in the ring. A great shot down the ground for four, but this time finds the leading edge. 175 for nine. Ah! Osman the final wicket and we end up on 175 all out with the Cookfield skipper Hayward completing his fifer. Not our best day with the bat, that's for sure. A couple of gifts for Cookfield with Connor the only one getting a score and not forgetting a couple of notable innings from Joe and Dano. Well bowled by the Cookfield boys though, Will Galbraith Gibbons doing the damage up top, taking three for 11 from six overs, and then the left arm spin of Josh Hayward picking up five for 29. We'll need to do something special with the ball if we're to get back into this. Cookfield needing 176 to win from 62 overs. And opening things up for us from this end is Connor Golding to the hard hitting South African, Wesley Marshall. As expected, Cookfield openers Marshall and Cambridge come out the gates firing and after six overs, the score is 42 for no loss. Not quite the start we wanted. Aaron from the far end gets the breakthrough with the final ball of the eighth. Thorne taking that at mid on. A very important wicket and hopefully the first of many. 59 for one from eight. And we've got Osman Zahir on replacing Connor.
Osman will be disappointed not to take that one. And on a day like today, we'll need to be taking all of those. So the introduction of Rahul's leg spin and his strikes in his first. Brownie taking that down at long on, then putting the ball top corner. Cookfield opener Joe Cambridge goes one short of 50 and the hosts are 95 for two, needing just 81 for victory. One hundred and sixteen for two from twenty one overs. Rahul and Cavey bowling in tandem and both coming close. Skipper turns to James Russell and that plan doesn't come off. Oscar Jago Lewis smashing that over for 20 and even hitting the tree for good measure. That really reducing the deficit and it's just 24 runs needed for Cookfield now.
So scores level. And Jago Lewis brings up the victory and is 50 from just 33 balls with that boundary. His innings supported nicely by TBCC TV superfan Alex Thornhill, making that chase light work in just 28 overs. A really convincing victory from the hosts showing why they're the team out in front, extending their lead to 38 points at the top of the table. As for us, the less said the better. The battery on the new second camera died pretty early in the day as well, hence why we only got a few shots from the first half of our innings, and I feel like that encapsulates our day quite well. Not great with the bat, and then a couple of chances not quite falling to hand. And when they did come, we couldn't hold them. Oh well, we go again next week, and we take on Eastbourne. The forecast not looking too good as I record this though, and weather permitting, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.